You're watching Enterprise Nation TV with O2 Business. I mean, I think it's the main thing to do is cover your bases. Like, you know, if you get, if you get the emails, I get, you know, I don't actually have um, kind of like my mailing list for buyers, so I can't share that with you. But, um, but always do the applications, do that. Be, be a bit proactive. As I was saying, you know, towards like not the stocking part, like don't, again, don't go to anyone's house. Um, but do the emails and like be, be honest, but also be quite brief. These people, me included, it will, it's quite like busy. So like if you get a big email, I hate to admit it, but you will probably not read it. Mm. Um, I think it's just human psychology. Like, you know, be brief, add the lookbook, go, you know, and say, this is what we do. Please check it out. These are my details. I'm available to talk whenever. Like, you know, do, do, do that. Like, be honest to, to what you want to achieve rather than like, that's another thing in terms of messaging, like something that I would en encourage everyone to do. Um, is don't tell the buyers how they need to feel about your your product. You know, like obviously inspire them and tell them what the story is, but don't you know, kind of like leave them to make their own decisions as to whether they feel that way. Um, and the reason why I'm saying that is because it saves you words, and and it's still you know it's, it's a business decision. Like you know, the the customers themselves will make the emotional decision of going like, this is the best thing I've ever seen. Um, but the buyers will make a business decision. So, you know, like, keep the, keep the long messages and those things to the customers um, that you're actually directly selling the product to and keep the business blurb and the actual, like, approach to the buyers. Like, you know, know, know your two, the two very, very well. Um, but yes, like, do the emails. Like, like we have an applications um, process and a lot of designers then desperately try to find our emails to like email us going like I don't know if you saw it but we see it, it I, I, I'll tell you exactly what happens <laughs> um, the email comes through through the applications process that we have in on our website our creative director goes through all of these applications like I'm sitting next to him he goes through every single website and that's why I also encourage you to do the social media because social media is also something that we see um, again we don't focus on the followers we focus on the quality of the pictures and the quality of the feed and how they're presenting the brand. So once we see that, he decides whether he likes it or not. Then it comes to me and I decide whether, you know, it's a good commercial decision or not to have them. So like that, those are the two filters. Like if you're applying at Wolf and Madger, possibly the like, two of the most senior people, one of the co-founders and, and me will see it before you get contacted. So that's, that's what happens. It doesn't go into a black hole of nothing. It just genuinely comes straight into our inboxes. So that if, if any other stockists are anything like us, those infos at are not actually going straight to the bin. Like they are doing what they're there to, to do. Um, and if you then are lucky enough to get a direct email for a buyer for a bigger like shop, so from Harrods or uh, Selfridges or John Lewis, whatever, like you will um, just do what I said before, just be really professional, present your brand. And like, until you're saying, until you receive a really hard no, just uh, carry on doing that. <laughs>